In the midst of the storm, there is peace. Matthew 7, 24 to 27. Therefore, whoever hear these sayings of mine and do them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon the rock, and the rains descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon the rock. And everyone that hear these sayings of mine and do them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon sand. And the rains descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell. And great was the fall of it. A storm can make for your peace or it can break your life up into pieces. Your level of stability will be reflective of your relationship with the Lord. Real stability is the peace that passes all understanding. Peace has nothing to do with externals. Peace is internal and eternal. Many times we build our houses upon sand, with sand being symbolic of particles of yesterday or man's opinion. If you ever have drawn a line in the sand, you've come to realize that as soon as you drew the line in the sand, it disappeared. There are times when we choose to build our houses on the basis of our own opinions instead of God's opinions. Beware and be attentive to God's opinion because in actuality, it is not an opinion. It is the truth that is absolutely absolute. When the rains descend and the floods come, houses built upon sand will exemplify instability and will fall to ruin. The fall will indeed be great. However, a great fall only means that God wants to do great things in your life. The rain will descend and floods will come and the wind will blow. The external circumstances are present in all our lives. However, how we handle these situations is reflective of our relationship with our Father. Circumstances are circles in which you stand. They are temporal and subject to change. Pastor Kathy Walker. Storms or external circumstances are representative of climate changes. An increase or a decrease in temperature change is symbolic of a mixture of hot and cold. Illinois residents and those who have been conveniently placed in the lane of Tornado Alley have witnessed these weather conditions from time to time. For example, an observation, a storm, or tornado or whirlwind is the result of a collision of hot and cold air which personifies an individual who straddles the fence. In some cases, we experience great turbulence due to the pressures coming from external circumstances and can be an indicator of decisions we have made or the decisions of others void of divine counsel. There is much uncertainty in these decisions, although too much certainty can easily lead us to the I got this syndrome. No matter what the case may be, peace resides in the midst of the storm. Peace is inside and resides in an individual who abides in the Lord. If you abide in him, you can say that my father and I are one. 
it's part of your genetics. It's your nature. God will bring storms into your life to test the things that have been built. He is shaking those things that can be shaken. You are one with God and the only separation between the two is you. You must get to know him. Our hearts can be a partition in cultivating this relationship. These are walls that God is going to break. And he will sometimes bring down these walls through storms. This gets you closer to him. We must learn to hear with our hearts and not our heads. We must learn to hear his sayings and do them with all our heart, all our strength, and all our might.